Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. Time to finish off all the dangerous stuff in the ancient castle. A little bit more prepared for the battles inside now. Although, that includes the blue dragon. Some leeways were made to make that fight a little bit easier and... Which ends up making the rest of the segment a tad harder, but... It's not a huge deal, really. Overall, it makes fairly little difference, I think. So yeah, let's enter the door. Keep running up. For some reason, I'm, on all my test runs, I never seem to get a battle going up to there. Um, so this is either... Actually, this is either Edgar or Gogo, and it doesn't really matter. Auto crossbow. I'm starting to think it's a preemptive strike, maybe. No, I'm really starting to think this is a preemptive strike. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Not much of a better way to do that, but whatever. And I didn't hear Schiller at the start, which means it's not a weapon. Which means... i just going to toss shurikens. They're not uber powerful, not with this setup, but... Eh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Part of the problem is Shadow's still a lot lower than the rest of the team in terms of levels, so... He's a little bit behind, but I don't really need him to be all there. He'd do better damage if I actually set him up properly, but I'm too lazy to do that. And this has a... the setup I've got with him now has its benefits. Must have killed it with a gouge or something. That's lucky, because that's not even all that powerful. Okay, so... Um... I realized I was being an idiot last time and mixed up the positions of my Remedies and my Phoenix Downs, which could have come back and bite me in the butt, but surprisingly it never did. Skills, go-go, magic, cure two. I wasn't even sure if anyone needed to be healed there, but apparently someone did. Let's continue running upwards. Hooray! Now I acquire Not Quite Odin yet. Not super useful overall, because I still think I need to pump more MP into Strago. It, it's just... Uh, okay, yeah. The, the thing about MP is that you just get such huge gains from just a couple Esper levels that I don't think the extra magic point is really worth it. Not in this case, anyway. Normally, I'd probably pump magic at this point, but for this run in particular, it, it's so awkward to keep track of MP. Anything to alleviate that is pretty nice. So yeah, I'm just going to keep leveling him with Zone Seek, and I'm not too terribly concerned about getting those instant death spells. Although I may eat my words on that later, for all I know. Okay, so this is Gao. It's unfortunate that I had to bring him to the top of the menu to work that out, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hopefully he uh, hits it with the shrapnel, because its magic defenses are extremely low. This is Edgar Gogo, so they want to chainsaw the other one of Edgar, and unfortunately there was no shrapnel there. I navigated the bolt skeins to the top, and look at that massive damage. That That's pretty insane, to be honest. So <laughs> that's Weapon isn't so bad when I'm actually prepared for him. It's just when I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. That's when it's not so good. And thankfully he announces his presence, which is good, because... Wow, still not dead? I thought he would be. There we go, now he's dead. It's a good thing that he announces his presence too, because... I use a strategy that's completely different for him than anything else. Like... Well, except Gao, but... Um... Alright, let's double check even my revives, because someone could have died there, theoretically. Someone that wasn't Shadow, at any rate. 
That was probably all blind, so perhaps that was a waste, but I don't really care that much. Skills, go go, magic, cure two. Not a big deal using Gogo's MP, really. And now, now that I think about it, go down to Equip, up to Edgar, Equip, Shield. There we go. Now he's got the Genji Shield, which should be really handy for the Blue Dragon fight, because it pretty much... It makes a huge difference to his physical attacks. Most of my other defenses are magical, though, for Edgar. Alright, so I should have run into that pillar. That conveniently placed pillar. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Because now I just go right and down, and I should make it... Oh. I'm going down next. Alright. Alright. Back up two to the auto crossbow. Who wants to bet this is another preemptive strike? Because of that, I'm just gonna mash A with Gao. Go back to the shurikens. I'm surprised Gogo managed to beat Shadow to the punch there. Just gonna hold day from here on out. I think I'm probably good. Is there only one of those guys left? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. Whoa. Okay, that guy was confused and he debilitated like an idiot. That's not gonna make a huge difference. Is that the end? Nope. Is that the end? It must be. Get out of there, I don't need to be in the skills menu. Item. Okay, in that rate, what am I doing? Oh yeah, right. I forgot the equip menu. <laughs> forgot that I went there first. Alright, Phoenix down. No one. Remedy. No one. I was pretty sure. I'm not even sure what they can inflict me with, to be honest. Oh, apparently... Could have sworn I took a physical attack there. Not sure what's going on with that, but... Alright, so make it to the bottom, right? Now I need to go and grab that oh-so-nice x ether. I think I'm going right next. It's definitely not a weapon, so just wail on them with my standard strats. Whoops, I didn't multi-target those shurikens. Not that it's a super huge deal, I guess, but... Especially since I've got my auto-crossbows going off, and if there's boxies in the fight, that's gonna take care of... Oh, whoa. That's gonna take care of me, apparently. <laughs> Hopefully that takes out whatever's left, so that I can... Yeah... Even with the high magic defense enemies around here, that uh, shrapnel's still going to good use, because I'm just using an all damage strat anyway, so... It tops off what I need, really. It's not enough on its own to be super crazy, but... Nothing more from that. Skills... Go, go, magic, cure two. Alright, so hopefully I don't mess up which direction I'm supposed to be walking here. Feels like... I hopefully didn't walk too far here. Okay, let's go. Gao and Shadow are both fast, and... So, I can't really rely on one to outspeed the other. Hearing smacks on my end. Hearing more smacks on my end. 
another physical attack. But as long as I keep the pain coming to them, those Mephistos just get murdered by the auto crossbow. It's ridiculous. Goodbye, lots of stuff. Although I think the thing at the top is still all right. Okay, maybe there's more than one thing that's still all right. Is that the end? Okay. I'm starting to get confused as to what's going on there. I swear I keep hearing myself getting hit by more attacks than I'm getting healed from. Okay, that felt weird, because I didn't actually move anywhere. I started mashing the A button before I started moving, and that confused me. Still not another weapon. Not that I'm particularly concerned about him anymore. Just the real big difference is... Unfortunately, it's two Lilis, which is actually probably the worst battle now. Especially with that confusion going around. Well, that attack was still definitely on the left side. So I'm not 100% sure what that confusion actually did to me, but... Apparently, I decided to stop one of my own characters. By I, I mean the confused character being an idiot. I'm not hearing any more auto crossbows, this isn't going so well. Although I don't think they've gotten any real damage off on me. And the thing about the confusion is that all my magic spells are healing or gray magic, so... I'm starting to think I should almost bust out the bolt scrolls because this isn't looking so hot, but... The bolt scrolls are super effective against these guys, so they'll do slightly more. And I know that, but slightly more than the shurikens. I'm not spamming them because they're also slightly more expensive, but then again, they're almost double the power to begin with, and they're only double the cost, so... Not sure if that's worth my time. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot I did those in the opposite order there. No weird shenanigans happened. Skills, magic, cure. Yeah, still nothing. They're doing a lot of uh, a lot of attacks that are putting me on statuses and making me worried, but doing legitimately no damage. It's kind of funny. One, two, three. Down a step, and now I can go down the staircase. Got to run for a while. Wow, getting lots of battles here. Okay, so... Ugh, that's unfortunate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Go nuts on them. And I hit, rather. Chainsaw. Volt scroll. Chainsaw. Raise, that's kinda nasty. Definitely gotta make sure to be on the ball with my remedies this time around. Hit him with another bolt scroll, because that's pretty much enough to kill him. The worst thing that can happen is Shadow being counterattacked with that Ruby Blast move, because it'll one egg KO him. No questions asked. Goodbye. Alright, let's see the full extent of my damage there. If I stop being a moron. Nope, no one died. I kind of expected that. Actually, can't even tell who got poisoned from that, because everyone was blinded anyway. Skills, magic, cure... Okay, what's up with this? I... I don't understand it. How am I not curing anyone when I use cure? Because... I keep... I'm gonna use dried meats, because this is starting to scare me a little. There's no way that I'm... Yeah, people have clearly taken a lot of damage. What's wrong with you, Gogo? Why can't you use Cure 2?
Like, unless I've selected the wrong spell by accident or something. Magic, go go. Did I somehow seriously scroll down to the bottom of the menu or something and select a different spell? How, how did I blank out that badly if that's the case? I don't really get what's going on there. Maybe it's another one of those cases where I forgot to. Re I definitely didn't forget to reset though. I definitely remembered to reset. Because I remember resetting. Whatever. One, two, three, four. Alright, let's see if I can get to. Apparently not! <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is Shadow or Gao. It's Shadow. Don't want to go with the Bolt Scrolls yet, and possibly not at all. Region. Edgar, because he's going to want that badly. Edgar needs region badly. Okay, so now I need to figure out who this is. Okay, this is Go Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Kinda wish there was a better way of doing that. Double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, dang it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Sea flower as well for you. This is Edgar, so let's uh, throw out some golem. He got poisoned. Or something. I don't know. Wow, did Gao get countered by... I'm starting to get worried for him now. Oh, it shouldn't be an issue. Oh gosh, was I not in a menu there? That's bad. How'd I get out of the menu? Uh... I also want to put Re-Rise on Edgar. Hopefully he'll get that off before he dies, but I'm not feeling hopeful. Well, maybe I should have been more hopeful than I was. So this is Edgar now. Because everyone else is raging. Alright. Shadow, I think, is dead. But that's okay. I'm just going to leave him on the ground. No sense in trying to keep him alive when everything kills him and everyone else is fairly safe. It's really just a thousand needles that I really hate in this battle. It's the one thing that makes us somewhat dangerous. Storm, that's not going to do anything. Not unless I mess up region on Edgar or something. It's not going to affect me in the long run. That's... what? How does that even work? Whatever. Thankfully, Sea Flower absorbs water and hits a weakness. Couldn't care less about buffs. Keeping safer image up would just be a major pain here. And the nice thing is, and those characters don't want to eat a uh, blue claw anyway, so half of what I'd want to buff him for. Oh, maybe I should put Seizure on him. I forgot to do that. Let's wait for Edgar's next turn. Hit him with the drill to put the Seizure on. And Feeler also poisons him, say, freeing up some of Edgar's turns, so... It's just a pretty great rage overall for this battle, I think. It, the damage isn't absurd, but... Oh yeah, right. He can counter with Storm when when I'm hitting his weakness, but I don't really care because that just heals me more than anything. Edgar's the only one who's taking anything from that. Hmm, what's that? Does he have some sort of gravity-based attack that I didn't remember existed? It's starting to scare me, but I'm just gonna trust in my strat. I was fast-forwarding a lot during my test runs, so I'm not I'm perhaps not a, as aware as I, I should be of what he can actually do. I'm just aware that what I do seems to work pretty well, overall. What is that? I don't even... Just continue with the wave cannon and the chainsaws, and he hasn't... I don't think he's hit Golem very much yet, so that's a plus. 
and both my uh, more theoretically fragile characters are still alive, but and then again, I guess they're less fragile right now. Oh yeah, I'm being an idiot. That was probably just our polarity that I was forgetting about earlier. Oh hey, more storm. That's gonna make a huge difference. This guy just wastes a ton of turns. A thousand needles is the only th trick he's got up his sleeve that can do anything truly dangerous to me. So... Shadow is so not worth it in this fight. He can do a lot of damage with bolt scrolls, sure, but I'm probably wasting more damage trying to get him on his feet at all. Wasting more damage, wasting more effort. I mean, right now I'm just holding A, right? So it would be a lot harder to be trying to revive Shadow and figure out when Shadow's dead and then have Shadow do things. Why bother when I can be lazy like this? Laziness is always a virtue. Doing about 3,000 damage a hit with all my reasonably damaging attacks, so... It's not fast, but it's not slow. So... Good work with your R polarity there. Or unless I mix up which row with Gao was in to begin with. All I'm really all I'm really paying attention in the least to is just making sure he doesn't a thousand needles me. Well that probably wasted some of my golem right there. And there goes my poison. Well there goes my there comes my poison, I guess. It's hard to tell exactly how long this is going to be because I'm so used to just fast forward, blah, 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 done. <laughs> just keeping the barest of eyes out for a thousand needles. In fact, I think I can. I think doing this blindfolded, I'm probably going to be more efficient at recovering from a thousand needles if he ever actually bothers to use it than I was when I was just fast forwarding. Because when I was fast forwarding, it was like, oh crud, I just realized that he a thousand needles someone and skipped another minute into the fight at, before I realized that. Here it's I know immediately, even if I don't know who got hit. So... If he hits Edgar though, Edgar will probably die. Let's be real here. Oh no, Dispel. Well, uh, there goes the sleep status, I guess. A little miss. Oh yeah, and Edgar does have re rise just in case, just to prevent one a thousand needles at the very least. And that should realistically be all I need. It's not like he spams that move as you've been seeing. So. And beyond that, my hold A strategy is pretty much invincible. As you probably noticed from all that. <laughs> Easiest of the dragons, I think, is probably going to be in the end, because... Unless it's the ice dragon. Once in Kefka's tower are kind of schmucks, too, so I don't even know. The dragons definitely get easier as you go along. Fire dragon was probably the worst of it, I think, for me. In this run. As expected, Shadow was dead. As I probably really should have expected. No, uh... No one was on any statuses at the end. Skills, magic, cure... Yeah, whatever I don't understand about what's happening... It's still causing problems for me. Let's try healing with Edgar instead. Skills... Edgar, magic. Yeah. I don't really understand the gist of what's going on here. Why I can't seem to heal. 
I know I'm doing something wrong, but I'm not sure what it is. Because Shadow definitely needs healing right now. Let's try a different character to see if I somehow... Could I be in the Esper's menu somehow? If so, that's pretty dumb of me, but... I might have to take it or leave it with whatever I Esper bonuses I get if I happen to reassign Esper bonuses randomly. Skills. Go, go. Skills. Go, go. Now what's going on? Ugh, this is so stupid. I don't get it. This should be really simple, but... I'm just not sure what I'm doing wrong. I'm definitely scrolling up to the top, so I'm definitely at the top. I guess this is what I have the dried meats for, after all. Random things that... Random emergencies that don't make any sense in the first place. Alright, let's go power up Odin for real, uh, well, after these messages. No Shiller, standard battle tactics. Um, you should both... Shadow is probably on magic, I think. Yeah, gotta watch out for that. Oh, that's not good. Not a good opening. Scroll you back up to the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Actually, Sea Flower almost wouldn't be too bad for this, but whatever. Um. So this is Go Go. No, this is Edgar. He actually has speed go go. So let's select auto crossbow. And you should be on rage, so let's also select auto crossbow with you. Now we're back in business. My party's a little bit weaker against these guys since I re equipped them more for the dragon. Which means uh, there's a chance that someone will die, especially if Edgar was the one that was hit by Condemned. I don't think that was the actual death from the Condemned going off. I'm pretty sure that one was. I should have menu tricked. I can menu trick with him. Pretty sure that one was just them using Condemned again. Yeah, not sure about that one. Wait, isn't this... Whatever, it's the end of the fight. Let's double check for sure, because... That's sketchy enough to worry me. Definitely gonna. This is definitely. Yeah, let's pause the video for a second. Basically, after the battle interrupted me, I forgot to go up to the statue and grab Odin after that. So I ended up le leaving without him and c finishing the segment without him. And if I had noticed right after the segment, I likely would have just uh, redone the segment to just get it all done in one fell swoop. And even if it would have been really annoying to redo like 45 minutes worth of gameplay, but. Uh, unfortunately I didn't notice for a fair bit, so that I wasn't really sure what to do, so I just ran through off-camera and grabbed Odin again. I figure it doesn't make any substantial difference in the gameplay, so sorry about that. In a case where I'm going to have to go into the uh, recording after the video and see what just was going on. One, two... But it's really easy to back out after I come into this place. But man, these battles all over the place. No shiller. I can feel free to go, I think. Um, seems to be preemptive as well. Three enemies, so it's not double Lilith. At least that's a plus. Especially when I get to go first. 
Because I know there's uh, two Mephistos in this battle, and I'd prefer to maul them in one shot just before they get Pearl Wind off, although that didn't seem to be the case of what actually happened here. I could theoretically cast Float with Shadow, but considering how badly I've been doing in the magic menu this time for no reason, and the fact that Quake isn't super dangerous, I don't think, coming from these guys. But they're sure tanking it, tanking me for, for a while here. Still no deaths. That pearl wind's really interfering with my efforts to do things, I think. Is that a counter or something? Okay, now I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried. They can quit it with the healing any time now. <laughs> I think them both the Mephistos are probably dead now, so... But yeah, with all the Quake being thrown around... There we go, finally. Took way longer than it should have. Apparently not even Shadow died from that. I'm gonna run myself out of dried meats very quickly here, because I'm not meant to be healing with dried meats right now. And to be hearing, healing with those Cure 2 spells from my characters that aren't uh, using their MP for anything else. Alright, one step up to get around the barrier, and that's the only real bit of treachery that, that getting into this dungeon is going to try and pull on me, as far as I think. I do have to count steps once, but once I line myself up, it's a straight run to the finish here. More battles, because I need more battles. Oh well, extra EXP, I guess. Oh, something died. Is that everything? That battle went swimmingly, I guess. Alright, so continue running up. For some reason, I get so many battles over there, but I, I may, maybe the encounters di rates are different in different rooms, I don't know, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now I just walk straight down for a very long time. Yeah, that wasn't unexpected at all. In fact, there's a good chance I'll get another one, to be honest. Haven't seen another weapon yet, but that's not really important. Considering I'm no longer trying to ram physical attacks down its throat. I'm going up against its weaknesses instead of its strengths. Is that it for that one, too? Works for me. Not complaining, that's for sure. All the way down. Yeah. That just feels so ridiculous to go that long and then still get another encounter. <laughs> this is just a really weird place in terms of how it's designed. In some ways compared to the rest of the game. <laughs> One of the longest straightaways in the game for sure. Probably a good place to grind up step mine if you're not using the conveyor strats. I seem to be hitting myself a lot here. But apparently they're dead. Continue walking downward. Because I must have been pretty much out of there. Not even bothering to heal. Pulling the same crud that I was doing after, uh, what's his face? Katana Soul. 
Perhaps it's being a little bit risky, but for the most part, I don't think it's a big deal. Alright, that should have made it, since I'm not running into any more battles. At the very least, I can tell from that, and just walk to the save point. There we go. Took a while, but it sure went smoothly. It guards that FMP. Oh, I forgot to use a tent, I think. Well, I would explain that. Why wasn't... Oh, I was going into the rage menu like an idiot, wasn't I? Well, then again, I wouldn't be pressing any buttons. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure I was doing... Potentially, I was trying to use a remedy spell for some reason. Somehow, maybe I got locked on that. I don't know. I guess I'll see for sure in post, then. I'd say see you next time, but there's still a little bit more to this. Well, I guess it's time to finish this off real quick. Well, it won't be that quick, but... It won't be long either, I don't think. Probably like 10 to 15 minutes if nothing strange happens. Down and left a bunch. See, getting to these chests from the entrance to this room... From the other entrance to this room, rather, is kind of awkward. Whereas getting into them from here is just fine. Okay, so this is Shadow. This is one of my tools users. Should be Gao. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Might as well. Don't really care. I probably could use Dragon instead, but... Is that the end? Okay, apparently it was. I didn't expect that to end it, but maybe it was Zerathians or something. I think they're the only ones cruddy enough to actually get caught by that. Okay, now I gotta be careful. This is probably the most dangerous bit. As long I just gotta be careful not to mess up taking a step out of turn after a battle. Or go so fast I miss the chest, but in theory, that should be unrealistic considering how slowly that I already have to go to avoid misstepping after battles. There we go. Up one, one, two, three, four, five. Counting up steps, counting up steps there lines me up super nicely and that's pretty much all I have to do in that room. I mean, it's pretty obvious where I am once I reach the top there. That those auto crossbows are just even more devastating they were, than they were before now. So there's even less actual threat from these random encounters, and there's even less threat from these random encounters by Master T, who really, really sucks. Nope, nothing weird happened at any point. So let's continue walking upwards. Since I lined myself up earlier, pretty much out of this room already. Right up until I reach the edge here. See, the thing about this room is that it's really easy to... It's kind of a big X shape, in a way. And going through it the way I did before it's much easier than going through it the other direction. So I came up from the top left where that door is and then went to the bottom right. And that's easy. Going the other direction, it's not hard, but it requires a little bit more effort. Meanwhile, going the other way... Uh, let's step around this barrier here. going the other way, top, bottom left to top right where the Master Tomberry chest is, like I'm doing now, is really, really simple. But going the other way, if I recall correctly, it's significantly more awkward. Eh, still nothing, apparently. So I'm going to start going right and up. Alright, probably going right next. 
Let's run into these scrubs with my novel hold A tactic. It's nice when I can actually pull off a strat that requires nothing more than holding A, because... <laughs> no chance of messing that up. And, like, nothing happened there, so... Don't even need to heal. So continue right and up until I reach, hopefully, top right-hand corner where I'm supposed to be. And then I'm pretty much right next to Master T there. Okay, back one step and down to the chest. There we go. Hello, Master T. Don't even get boss music, which is kind of fitting because you suck. On a side note, I'm getting a weird sense of deja vu from this fight. It feels almost like I've done this somewhere before. Just can't place it. Uh... Okay, so this must be Gogo then. He's still got rage, I forgot. Wait, what? Oh yeah, right, because he doesn't have an Esper. I'm being dumb. I'm actually gaffing this up more than I did the first time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unlike the first time, though, I will be taking multiple one, two, three, four, five, six mute spells to make the sure this goes through for sure. Hooray! Because <laughs> the mute spell stop is step mine, and the vanish stops is a physical attack that he does when he gets to the end. So it kind of just trivializes this boss fight 100%. Let's get you two scrubs out of the way. And because there's absolutely nothing going on in this fight, I can t to be a f I can take the time to make sure that I do this properly and make absolute sure that I mute him. Four mute spells should easily be enough for that, I think. Okay, so now I have one of my characters back. Um, who is it? I think this is Shadow, right? So yeah, let's move him to the front, and he can attack the next turn. Setting him up all ready to attack. And this is Gao. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Again, there's probably something better I could do, but I don't really care. Whoops. Chainsaw. This should be Edgar this time. Chainsaw. I... Uh, as much as uh, the fire skeins are pretty darn good here, against an enemy that legitimately can't hurt me at all, I don't think I'll be throwing away 500 gil a shot. I'm just going to hold A till the end of this fight again. I mean, one can almost make him a case that using fire skeins in the rest of the dungeon is kind of helpful. But against this boss fight, there is no there isn't even that. There isn't that's not even a justification, so it'll take a bit longer, but boo hoo. Lots of chainsaws. This is pretty much a Texas Chainsaw Massacre here. Oh boy, you stopped him. Good work. That's the, the, that does things. I've noticed it's kind of weird that if I cast Stop with the Cage Nui, and I'm sure I'm butchering that pronunciation. In fact, I'm pretty sure I already know what it's, uh, what it's supposed to be, but... Oh, goodbye. But if I cast stop from that thing and then ca cast wind slash, it only targets that the thing that was stopped all the way up to the top. Ugh. Well, I can't just hold A for this one because okay, because shadow's on the wrong thing. 
and it shows the chainsaw uses to be precise. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, this is Shadow. Set him back up with his fire skeins. Go for your auto crossbow. And this fight's essentially over. I like all the other fights in here. Oh, they actually decided to damage me. That's unfair. BTB, I think you need to nerf these guys. They tried to damage me. Goodbye to him. Make sure nothing crazy happened. Now let's actually try to heal someone with my cure spells. There we go. It was just a mess last segment after not having a mess like that for a very long time. Ether. Not sure why I even bothered to remember that, because it's not a useful chest. So wait, what was it? Was it right up until I get to top here, I think, and then I go left and up for the win. Now I go left and up. Up is probably the safer direction, although I didn't explicitly figure it out. Gao used gouge, that's kind of worthless, but whatever. Down here it's not even super useful to use the, uh... The what's it called now? Shrapnel. I was thinking for a second, nothing's dying. Is that all of them? Yeah, it must have all died at once. Alright, maybe that's the last fight? It realistically could be. There we go. Back at the loud blaring... instruments, I'll say due to my complete lack of musical knowledge of Figaro Castle. <laughs> Alright, I'm using this slightly more complicated route because there's a couple ways the guard can mess my day up and I don't want to let him do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because if I left it up, he can keep pace with me, so I may just keep walking along his bottom side. It's theoretically possible. And if, and there's a certain spot where he can just get me stuck indefinitely due to his fixed pattern. So yeah, I'm not going to let him mess with me. Right, up, left, across the staircases. And this should take me all the way into the uh, room with the guy who does the thing. You know what it is. Up, right, talk to the guy, and let's make sure I can't exit the menu, which I can't. So yeah, go back. He says something about stratums being stratomy, and then, yeah. So gotta wait for this one. This one's slightly longer than the last one, but I'm probably waiting way too long for either of the both times, so I don't really care. But I can't menu trick anywhere until I've cancelled out the dialogue. And I don't want to talk to him again by mashing the button, which is why I still have to be careful. <laughs> Alright, so I think that should just about do it. Okay. Run to the right a tad. And I can go right and down until I exit the dungeon. Well, not much of a dungeon at this point, but you get my drift. Hello, overworld. So... Ugh. Still messing this up. <laughs> well, hopefully that thing wasn't important. Save, and see you next time.